I do think that their defense is not the best right now. Hey guys, the Euro 2020 is approaching and it's time to predict who do I think will win the Euro 2020? So this question is actually very hard, I feel, and especially this year, because I actually think there are multiple teams that will have a really nice chance to win. And I just want to go through the different countries and explain which ones I think really have an upper hand above some other countries. So to start off with, um, I've made a list and number one on my list is Germany. Um, I think that Germany is a really nice team and their coach has redesigned their team to a very nice, young, talented team with the likes of Timo Werner, uh, Marco Royce, and they still kept Neuer, which is a good thing, um, but he's starting to get old, so there might be a transition there. Um, I do think that their defense is not the best right now. Uh, with the likes of Netherlands having a very strong defense, England with uh, Harry Maguire having an amazing defense. So I do think that their defense is not as great as it could be. Um, Boateng is kind of getting old and they, they need a better defense. And that's Schule. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he's kind of old and he's really, really slow. So that's about Germany. They have a nice um, uh, offense with uh, Timo Werner and... Uh, shared Gnabry, um, but that's about it guys. Uh, that's for Germany. So one of the contenders is Germany. And number two I've mentioned before is the Netherlands. I think they have a really good squad. Their defense with the likes of Matthijs de Ligt, number two Virgil van Dijk, their two center backs is a good combo. Um, their keeper Jasper Silesse is decent, I guess. Um, he's sometimes really handy to the team. Sometimes um, their offense is probably the only bad thing right now, but they're starting to get some more young players from uh, people like Bo Do if you know him or not. But yeah, uh, they, I don't really think Ryan Babel. Like, come on, man. They've got a player from eight years back, you know, and he's kind of old, plays for a second division team in Turkey or something. Um, so not the best uh, offense guy, I mean, but like they have Memphis Depay, I guess. OK, he's good. Um, their midfield is awesome. They have Frankie de Jong and um, they have Quincy Promes, Wijnaldum, who are very quick in the attack. Right, moving on now, it's time to mention England. I think England are one of the favorites to win the World uh, Euro Cup, I'm sorry, because they have a great offense with Raheem Sterling, Marcus Rashford, Harry Kane, okay? Now their defense, the defense is also awesome. They've got Trent Alexander-Arnold. They've got, um, I'm forgetting his name, no, Harry Maguire, yeah, but uh, Kyle Wark Walker, yeah, and... I'm forgetting his name. He just recently moved to um, from Liverpool to Atletico Madrid. Uh, they're right back. Basically him. Yeah. And then they have a nice midfield as well. Um, they have some really good players. I don't know how. I just forgot their mid midfielder players. But yeah, they have a nice midfield. Um, that's all I wanted to say. So moving away from England, a great squad, a great attack, great, great midfield. And yeah, and now lastly, it's time to mention none other than the great France, guys. France, I know you guys are all talking about killing Mbappe, killing Mbappe. Okay, okay, he's good, but there are other good players as well, like Griezmann. And they actually have a good goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris, uh, has been good for a lot of time. Uh, they were the finalists in the last Euro. Uh, they were kind of unlucky to lose just in the last minutes with a goal from a deer from Portugal. We will be talking about Portugal. Right now, let's talk about France. They've got Lorente, a nice a nice uh, midfield as well with uh, Pogba. And I feel that they're a really quick team. They have good chemistry. But I think the team that has the best chemistry out of all the four teams I mentioned is probably... Um, the Netherlands guys, the chemistry is awesome. They have quick passing and they have a great build up as well. And not to 
Okay. okay, let's talk about Portugal. Maybe, but the thing about Portugal is that people get carried away with the name Ronaldo. I mean, I get it's Ronaldo, but he's kind of getting old, man. Like, he was at uh, Real Madrid, he was amazing, but now since he's moved to Juventus, he's missed so many free kicks, he's barely scoring goals, and he's just not the Ronaldo we're used to, I mean, yeah? But on the other hand, Messi um, is getting better day by day. I actually feel he's really good. Okay, maybe he's as good as he was like 10 years ago. So that's something about Messi and Ronaldo. Um, I'm not being biased, but um, I totally like Messi more, guys. Um, sorry for shaking the camera or anything like that, but that'll be it for right now. Um, so I think the final will really depend on the teams but these are the teams most likely to win the euro 2020 guys um which will be hosted in multiple different cities in um europe and the finals if i'm not wrong will be in the united kingdom so that's about it guys um if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time